Okay, hello Samurai. Thank you so much for coming back to your next online class. We're doing our best to make sure that you stay up to date with your attendance stripes. And it has been wonderful seeing everyone post their videos. We're tracking it all here as best we can at the dojo. So when you come back, we'll get everybody caught up to date on their attendance stripes and make sure that everyone's getting credit for their classes. All right, so this is gonna cover class from March 23rd to the 28th. So let's start officially, here we go. Attention and bow. Very nice job. All right, now we're gonna get down on our knees for our warm up. You can put your toes up in the air. If you feel really strong today, you can do full push-ups up on your toes, but I'm gonna go on my knees. All right, we're gonna have nice strong arms. You're gonna count together, okay, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very nice. So who is up on their toes? Who is feeling like a superhero today? That is awesome. I knew you guys were strong. All right, so we're gonna do our squats today. We're gonna to put those feet out. You see that spyglass window out front? I'm gonna be watching. I am watching. Let's make sure we're bending our knees, but don't put our bottoms all the way to the floor. All right, here we go. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That was super. All right, so now we're gonna lie down all the way on the floor. We're gonna do our crunches. Bring our knees up, hands behind our head. We'll count together. We're gonna crunch up and try to touch our elbows to our knees. So count with me. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good job. All right, now we're gonna sit up. We're gonna do our bridge pose. Now remember, no saggy bottoms. Keep those bottoms up, nice and high. And we're gonna reach across, touch one shoulder, then we'll reach across and touch the other, but don't let that bottom sag. Keep it up high. Here we go, ready, and one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Who's got a saggy bottom? Eight, nine, and ten. Very good, very, very good. All right, now we're gonna stand on up. Fix your uniform, I hope you're wearing your uniform. That way we have that great karate mindset. Here we go, let me see, attention and bow. Student creed. Repeat after me. I will do things that are good for me. I will stay away from things that can hurt me. I will do my chores without being reminded and I will use my karate to help people. Three claps. Very nice. All right, let's sit on down. We'll have us a quick mat check, okay? Because this week we're talking about focus. Now, I know you guys remember there's, there's three different ways that we focus, right? We focus with our eyes, we focus with our ears, and we focus with our body. So let's go over those again. I'm sure most of you remember, but we're gonna go over them again for those who may have forgotten, okay? So focusing with our eyes means that we look at someone when they're talking to us. We, we just pay attention to them so that we can absorb what it is that they're saying, right? And we focus with our ears, that means we're listening to them, yes? Now what is it that we have to do with our mouth to make our ears work better? We have to close it. Our ears always work better when our mouth is closed. If we're talking and our mouth is running too much, we can't hear what's being said to us, all right? So we have to make sure we close our mouth to make our ears work better, okay? 
And how do we focus with our body? That's an interesting one. The best way to focus with your body is to be still. Just be still for a moment, okay? Because if someone's trying to talk to you and you're wiggling all over the place and you're looking all around and not looking at them, you're not paying attention to what they're saying. So we need to make sure that you're being still, you're looking at the person who's talking to you, and you stop talking so that you can listen with your ears. That is the best way to stay focused and to pay attention. Now I know right now focus is very difficult, especially doing schoolwork at home, because there's a lot of things that distract us. I know I see it in my own kids at home, but we really have to try super hard to have that martial arts focus, to tune all the other things out. Maybe it might mean shutting things off, like turning the TV off so we can focus on our work, but we really need to make sure that we're looking at what we're doing, that we're being quiet and listening to what we're supposed to listen to, and be still. Make sure you're focusing on getting that schoolwork at home done, okay? So we're gonna do a couple of drills that are gonna be fun, that will help us to focus, but you also can use mom and dad with them. But before we do that, we're going to go over our front snap kick because we don't want to neglect our martial arts drills. All right, so let's practice our front snap kick. We'll do the parts of the kick and then we'll do it quickly. And then we'll move on to our martial arts drills for the day. Okay, all right, let's stand on up. All right, very nice job. So what we're going to do today is we're going to work on that front snap kick, okay? Hands up nice and tight, because we don't want our hands flying around while we're trying to kick. That would be craziness. Hands up nice and tight. Let's go into that sparring stance. We're going to take that back leg, okay? We're going to do that chamber, kick, re-chamber, and put it down. Now, what do you remember about our toes for our front snap kick? A couple of very important things. Very good. I knew you remembered. The toes are going upwards but we have to pull them back. Because remember, when you're doing your front snap kick, your target is to hit someone right in the chin. If you do that with the top of your toes, it's gonna break them. So you wanna make sure you're hitting the chin as your target. You wanna pull those toes back. I'll show you, let me make sure it can be seen. Pull those toes back and you're hitting with the ball of your foot. Not this part, the ball of it. So those toes need to come back, all right? So we we'll practice flexing those toes back while we're doing our kick. All right, so hands up. We got chamber, kick, re-chamber, put it down. And one more time, chamber, kick, re-chamber, put it down. Very good, let's switch our feet, go to the other side. This time we're gonna do this leg, pull those toes back. We're gonna chamber, kick, re-chamber, put it down. Very good. And again, chamber, kick, re-chamber, put it down. One more time, chamber, kick, re-chamber, put it down. All right, let's switch back to the first side. Taking that back leg, we're going to kick it fast, but I still want to see you doing all four parts. Chamber, kick, re-chamber, put it down. They're very important. We have to do all four. Pull those toes back, keep them pointed straight up the front. All right, so here we go. We'll do three fast ones. When I count, ready, and one, two, and three. Very nice job. Let's switch our feet. See if you can kick over your head. That would be cool. See if you can, who can kick higher than their head. I know some of you can. I've seen you do it here. Let's take that back leg. Ready, and one, two, and three. Very nice job. All right, so you can go ahead and pause the video and I wanna see you kick five times on each leg. Fast, high, but pull those toes back and remember the importance of all four parts, okay? So go ahead and pause your video now. All right, wonderful. Those are some really great kicks. You guys did a great job. So now we're gonna practice some kicking drills. All right, so we're gonna do, it's gonna take a lot of focus, but you're gonna do these drills with mom and dad, okay? So I want you, we're gonna put your brains to work with a little bit of schoolwork and a lot of karate, okay? So this time for this drill, what I want you to do is I want mom or dad or an older brother or sister to give you a math problem, okay? 
No, it'll be whatever level your math that you're doing in school is, is fine. A simple addition, simple subtraction problems. If you're to the level of doing multiplication, you can try that, but that might be a little bit too hard. But we'll see what you can do. And then do that many kicks. So, for instance, if mom says 3 plus 1. Well, let's see. 3 plus 1. That equals 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So now I would do 4 kicks. You know, maybe have mom or dad hold their hand up, see how high you can kick. Or you can just do them in the air. Hands up, and I would do four kicks. One, two, three, four. Now make sure you're alternating sides. Now maybe they'll give you a subtraction problem. Maybe it'll be five minus two. Well, five take away two. If I take away one, two, that leaves me with three. So I would do three kicks. One, two, three. All right, so let's see what kind of problems your mom or dad can come up with, or even a brother or sister can come up with for you to do, and see if you can do at least five math problems before moving on, okay? So let me see video, I would love to see videos of you guys doing math problems and martial arts kicks at the same time, all right? So go ahead and pause your video and do those kicks for me. Perfect, that is so awesome. To get the brain moving just like that, that is amazing. All right, so now we're gonna do another drill. All right, let me just check the name of this drill. The name is the tap drill, okay? This one is really cool because you have to close your eyes and you have to stay focused on what's going on around you. Now, mom or dad or whatever partner you have working with you, I recommend you stand behind the, the martial artist that's gonna be doing the drill because you don't want to get hit. So here's what you're going to do. Have your partner or your mom or dad tap one shoulder or the other or one leg or the other. They're going to tap them one at a time. Now, if they tap this shoulder, then you have to throw the punch with that hand. A really good straight punch, nice and strong. If they tap this one, you're going to throw another one with that hand, okay? If it's this leg, front kick. If it's this leg, front kick, all right? Then, if you get really good at whichever one they tap, you throw that punch or kick really, really fast, maybe they can do a combination. Maybe they'll go tap, tap, and then you'd have to go punch, kick. Or maybe they can go tap, 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 and then you have punch, punch, kick. See how many you can remember to do correctly. All right, so you have to stay very focused on what you're feeling on your arms and legs, and you have to remember what you're doing with those parts of your body. So see how many you can get up to. See, I, I usually get started getting lost about five. So see, that would be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that would be punch, punch, kick, kick, punch. See how many you can do. See if you can get more than five. Like I said, I usually start getting lost about five. So let's see how many you can do. Try that a few times and then come back. So you can go ahead and hit pause on your video now. Excellent job. So those are some games that you can play. Those are, those are a lot of fun. You can play with mom or dad. You can do them anytime and practice your kicks at home. All right, so that is, that is the, all that we have for today. That's, um, all, that's all that we have for today as far as our class. But I do have an at-home challenge for you to try, okay? Now, you can try, I wanna see how fast you can kick. For 15 seconds, see how many kicks you can do. Now they have to be above your belt. They can't be little tiny kicks in the shin. You gotta kick a high, at least as high as your belt, okay? See how mom or dad hold a hand out, or brother or sister, or even just time you and do them in the air, but they gotta be high enough or they don't count. So count those kicks as fast as you can for 15 seconds and put it in the message box at the, or the comments box at the end of the video to see how many kicks you're doing in 15 seconds. I'd like to see who's going super fast. Then as a bonus challenge, see how many you can do without putting your foot down. That takes a lot of ninja balance. So if you can keep your balance up above your belt and kick really high and really fast for 15 seconds, see how many you can get, that would be totally cool too. So just let me know how many you have, okay? And hopefully we'll be back at the dojo soon, 
We'll be able to see each other. We'll be able to get testing back on schedule and we'll be able to have fun in the classroom. So I'm looking forward to seeing you again. In the meantime, stay very, very safe. Make sure you're washing your hands, you're eating healthy. Make sure you're still getting outside to get some exercise, but just do it in your backyard where it's safer, okay? All right, so I will see you soon. And let me see everybody come up to attention. Remember, feet together, hands by our side, and bow. Super awesome job today, everyone. Big air high 10, and I will see you soon, I promise.